Welcome everyone, this is Dr. Abdul Rafi here again and welcome back to the clinical case discussion. This will be the third video on clinical case discussion and if you are new to the video, do like, share and subscribe the channel. This case is about the pulpitis, whether it is reversible or irreversible pulpitis, we will diagnose it. So let's get right into the video. So this case is about an 18 year old girl who came to the OPD with the complaint of dislodged filling and mild pain in tooth number 36 that is lower left first molar. On clinical examination it was TTP positive and the pain was of short intermittent and non radiating nature. Up till now all the symptoms are suggesting that it can be a pain of reversible pulpitis. First we will look into the clinical picture and then we will further discuss the case. Now look at this clinical picture. This is tooth number 34, this is tooth number 35 and this is tooth number 36 from which filling has been dislodged and patient complained of mild pain. So from clinical appearance the tooth number 36 that is lower left first molar is severely carious the buccal bone and the buccal wall has been uh, decayed and cavity seems to be quite large this can give us the perception that uh, pulp chamber has already been involved and it can be a pain of irreversible pulpitis but to confirm whether the pulp chamber has been involved or not we will advise a patient a periapical radiograph to see that the pearl chamber has been involved or not. As we have looked up to the clinical picture, the cavity was quite large and it can suggest that the pearl chamber has been involved. But for further evaluation, I suggested a periapical radiograph so we can look up at the cavity that how far the caries has gone into the tooth. Now this is the radiograph of the affected tooth. On periapical radiograph it was shown that tooth number 36 on tooth number 36 pulp chamber has not been involved yet. Look at that the decay has not involved the pulp chamber yet even though the mesial pulp horn is quite near to expose but it has not been involved yet so this confirms that this case is of reversible pulpitis and the pain which is uh, which the patient has been feeling is of reversible pulpitis uh, uh, there can be a uh, so the ideal treatment will be tooth filling whether composite or amalgam or indirect pulp capping but during the cavity preparation there can be a chance of exposing this pulp horn this mesial pulp horn so the case can go into the direct pulp capping as well but the ideal treatment will be tooth filling or indirect pulp capping will solve the case Now this tells the significance of a radiograph as a diagnostic tool. Even though cavity was quite large and uh, through clinical picture we can easily say that this case uh, can go for root canal treatment but radiograph shows the different results. As the pulp chamber has not been involved yet so treatment can be a tooth filling whether composite or amalgam or it can go for indirect pulp capping and this will solve the case. I hope you liked the video and learned something from the case. If you like the video do share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. We'll be seeing you guys in the another video.